Working with OpenEXR images can use a lot of device resources. Let's take the example of the sequence consisting of 200 OpenEXR images, representing this ground surface that we saw in a previous video. These are multi-layer OpenEXR files containing multiple sub-images called passes or AOVs. Depending on the codec used by these files, reading these elements will take more or less time depending on the speed of the hard drive and processor. That's why the reader lets you define the path to a second, lighter version of the sequence called a proxy. The OpenEXR files used by the reader have a size of about 50 megabytes per image. Taking a look at this folder containing the proxies, we can see that the size is reduced to 12 megabytes. The pixel size is halved and the compression is more significant. So we'll use the second field provided by the reader, which lets us define a path to access these proxies. We'll see that it's possible to switch between these two versions. Let's start by zooming into the image to force the viewer to use the high definition versions of this OpenEXR sequence. The proxy mode parameter allows us to define the rules for switching from high definition to low definition. By selecting always, we choose to always read the proxy instead of the original sequence. At maximum zoom, the image is of course degraded since the resolution has been halved, but notice that the device is much more responsive even when switching from one pass to another. Never mode, on the other hand, always reads the original sequence, making playback a bit more challenging depending on your processor and storage speed. The other two available options, nearest or greater or equal, are referred to as adaptive modes. The viewer currently has a zoom factor less than 50%, and the lightbulb shaped icon at the bottom indicates that its resolution is dynamic. The viewer then uses the proxy instead of the original media, which contains half the number of pixels. Let's use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom more than 50% in the viewer. Autograph automatically switches from the proxy version to the high definition version. This feature is cumulative with the auto fit function, which adjusts the image size to fit the viewer. Staying below 50% always uses proxies and makes the software much more responsive. Zooming in the viewer more than 50% will automatically switch to the high definition images. Now that the proxies have been set for this reader, we can create a composition from these passes. To do this, right click on the icon and select Create Composition from EXR Passes. Autograph creates a new composition, which appears in the timeline with a new layer for each of the referenced passes. The viewer's zoom factor is currently at 42%, so the proxy passes are used to decode the content of all layers. Clicking on the layer visibility icon allows us to focus only on one or two layers in the stack. We'll only keep the combined pass and the ambient occlusion pass. When we modify the blending modes, again, we're working with the proxies and not the original images. Keep in mind that the proxies must contain the exact same passes named in the same way as in the original sequence. The combined and ambient occlusion passes are much faster to read here than when working with the high definition sequence. To see for yourself, you simply need to zoom in the viewer to switch back to the high definition versions and navigate in the timeline to see that the software is slightly less responsive. So proxies are a very effective way to work with very large initial files while remaining responsive within the software and working faster.